Hi, I'm Brian. Kettle's on. Make yourself a cup of tea. Now today I want to talk about the news of a potential Firefly reboot from Disney+. Plus. Now Firefly is one of my favourite shows of all time. It was a short-lived show in 2002, only running for 15 episodes before it was cut short by Fox. But those 15 episodes are probably the most you will ever get to a perfect show. There's not one bad episode in the bunch. Then after a couple of years, there was the Serenity film, which followed the story on, which wasn't as good as the show itself, but was still a excellent film. Still very enjoyable. If you haven't seen Firefly, I would highly recommend watching it. It is a superb series, which is why this news fills me with dread. This is on a movie web. Firefly reboot from Disney+. Plus. Now, no matter what they do, they're not going to be able to capture the magic of the original show many have described the show as lightning in a bottle which i think is a good way to describe the show it was a lot of perfect situations coming together to form a solid show with an excellent cast who give excellent performances and the idea of any reboot especially in this day and age fills me with dread as much as i love the show i think it needs to stay at its 15 episode run because no matter what to do with it as I've said, they won't be able to capture what was before it. A continuation of the story won't be as good, and a fresh reboot starting again would be terrible. It really would. They wouldn't be able to have the themes of the show of what it was back when it was made. This article goes on to say that Firefly was cancelled too soon, released in 2002. The series took place in the year 2517, classified as a space western drama, and starred Nathan Fillion, Gina Torres... Alan Turok, travelling on the spaceship Serenity in search of new adventures. It was an undoubtedly popular series, garnering up to 4.7 million viewers per episode. Astonishingly, however, Firefly was cancelled before it finished its first season. Only 11 of the 14 planned episodes were released, leaving the dedicated fans of the show devastated. Petitions, fundraisers and online forums were created in attempts to save the show from being cancelled forever, but these efforts were ultimately in vain. However, Disney plans to reboot the series as an exclusive for its streaming platform Disney+. Plus. Disney had acquired the rights for the franchise after their 2018 acquisition of Fox. Firefly seems like the perfect option to diversify their current lineup for streaming. Here's what to expect from the reboot. Now, currently, Disney Plus shows have not been great. The Marvel Disney Plus shows have been mediocre at best. My favourite one of those has been Loki. The current one, Hawkeye, is subpar, and I can't see them improving any anytime soon. So it really doesn't fill me with any confidence that Disney will put any effort into making this show a success. I think they'll do what they normally do. They'll market it to a built-in fan base of Firefly, but then when the fan base watches it, it'll be little to no resemblance of the original show. The original Firefly series on Fox was intended for mature audiences. Inara, for example, is explicitly known to be a courtesan on the show. There are also political, social and economic factors that integrate the morals and ethics of the character's world and society. Disney has not confirmed anything about the plot, but there is speculation on how the story will differ. Some routes include picking up right where the series left off and delving into the past of Malcolm Reynolds, who fought in the Civil War against the Alliance. However, it is most likely that Disney will be starting the entire series on a more family-friendly note. While Disney achieved a new first in Eternals by featuring an openly gay character and first real sex scene, it is unlikely that Firefly will do the same. Instead, they might opt for a narrative that would appeal to a more general audience on its streaming platform. Which I do think is true. Disney will go for a more family-friendly route. I think it will resemble more of a Guardians of the Galaxy show rather than what Firefly used to be. I mean, it says there and now it was a courtesan on the show. They're not going to have that in the new show. Malcolm Reynolds will probably be swapped out for a female lead, despite the show having four strong female leads to start with. And they'll just change it all up. Not because they need to, but because they feel like the original isn't good enough. But how Disney are changing everything up and pushing diversity, I can't see them having a straight white guy in the lead role of a show. But there is a little bit more to the article. Since Firefly was his vision and dream, many wondered whether or not Josh Whedon would return for the reboot. While Whedon isn't a stranger to creating television properties, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a much-loved series to this day, it seems that the allegations of workplace harassment against him might be the reason he won't be returning. Indeed, Warner Media conducted an investigation, resulting in swift action from the studio. Whedon then exited the HBO Max series Nevers, 
and it's safe to assume that producers, especially Disney, are cautious about working with him. He has not directed any television shows or movies since leaving the Nevers. And this is a double-edged sword. I do not think Josh Whedon should return to the show. For the allegations against him, I don't think he should return to being involved in TV or film in any way, anytime soon, if at all. But the other side to this is, without Josh Whedon's groundwork and his vision for the show, it's not going to be anywhere near as good or as interesting as the original. I think it'll be a substandard shadow of itself, and I don't think it'd run for long. Yes, Firefly fans would love more of this show. I would have loved more of this show 15 years ago. Not now. I mean, the show's had its run. Yes, it was unfortunately cut short, but I think bringing it back now would be a mistake. Having it cut short led to 15 fantastic episodes. I'm saying 15 rather than 14 because I'm counting the pilot episode as part 1 and 2, as that's what they were shown as over here in the UK. But those 15 episodes were just about perfect. It didn't run long enough to have a bad season. It didn't run long enough to have a bad episode for characters to start behaving out of character, for them to go downhill. Yes, I would have loved more of the show, but the show had a fantastic run. I have the DVDs. I can go back and watch it anytime I want, and I do quite often. As I say, it is one of my favourite shows and one of my most watched shows. But there is one more little bit of the article. More details are coming. Disney has largely kept quiet about the Firefly reboot, but they are planning to create the series. Because of the lack of official information, a release date, cast and specific details haven't been confirmed. There are several different routes Disney could spin the plot, and while it's unlikely that the original cast will reprise their roles, perhaps there's a chance that some actors could make a guest appearance. Firefly has a dedicated fan base, one that might not be too pleased if Disney changes the tone and plot to be more accessible for younger audiences. However, with Whedon no longer being a part of the decisions, it seems highly unlikely that it will be a continuation of the original story. That said, the current slate of successful original shows that Disney Plus have created so far, there's hope the original magic created in 2002 will translate well after all this time. But no, I don't think it will. I don't think we'll ever get the magic that Firefly had when it was originally aired. It was a superb show, a great premise, superbly acted with a fantastic cast. Unfortunately cut short before it had a chance to run its course, but ultimately a fantastic short run. As a Firefly fan, I am not looking forward to this reboot if it does happen. The current state of Disney shows have not been great. And Disney putting this on a Disney Plus will mean it will appeal to a younger audience base, which is why I think it would be a more light-hearted, easier-toned TV show. As I said earlier, I think it would more resemble Guardians of the Galaxy in tone rather than what the original show did. But what do you guys think? Are you a fan of Firefly? If you are, how do you feel about this news that it could be getting rebooted? Do let me know in the comments below. And that's all from me. I want to make a fresh cup of tea.